have all my boxes, but I gotta move them over. All right, we're gonna set the PC facing us. All right, because we gotta get to it. Uh, we'll go ahead and plug that in. Um, also, I need the um, I need internet. I need to grab the internet cord. But there it is. It runs that way. It's going over here. Uh, I got it. See, I always have a spare. H I always have a spare internet cable. That way, I can plug it into these computers. Man, I put this thing so well together that. All I did was push the button and look where it brought me straight into the Windows load screen. So what we do now is we go to eBay and then you type in Windows, type in Windows key. You can use Windows 10 or whatever you got, but I have a Windows 10 home key. So I'm going to search out Windows 10 home key, which is right there and go ahead and buy that. And then it will be email emailed to me here in a couple of days um, that's insane that's insane usually what I do is you can go to the filter and make it lowest to highest and usually just find a digital copy um, for Windows 10 as you can see here it's telling me that the system is not connected to the internet so if I go into troubleshoot and ask it to troubleshoot like what you should do it tells me that it couldn't find the driver Okay, so how am I supposed to download a driver when it won't allow me to connect to the internet? And I'm not on Wi-Fi. I'm directly hardline plugged in. I tried Wi-Fi and it still wouldn't do it because it said something about adapters or, or drivers. So it's kind of like a catch-22. How do you install drivers when you can't connect? You have to connect to the internet and able to install the drivers. Well... This is why something like this comes in handy. This is a USB dongle, all right, and a Wi-Fi USB dongle. Uh, what it does is it works off of software, if I can get it open. It works off of software, and if the software doesn't work, it comes with a driver disk. But anyway, huh, smiley face. Um, what you'll do is you'll you'll put this together and then you'll plug it into the back of the computer and then down here at the bottom You'll see a little Wi-Fi thing and you click on that and then you get onto your on your internet act your uh, You connect to your Wi-Fi and then you'll have network and then you can start downloading the drivers And then once you connect to the internet, you can unplug the USB You can see that little Wi-Fi thing that popped up that is the USB looking for my Wi-Fi connection now I just got to click on that and tell it what my Wi-Fi is there it is right there there's our wireless LAN driver network adapter that's the thing that we just plugged in um, that's what we were looking for like I said you just go down into that little drop-in and you click on hardware and it should pop up down there but you don't want to eject it Okay, I'm just trying to show you where to find it. If not, you can restart the computer and that will usually get it to prompt. If not, try unplugging it and plugging it back in and that should get it to prompt. All right, and just like that, we are now connected. So what we'll do is we'll go back down here and we'll go into settings. Let's go down here to the bottom. All right, go over here to update. Okay, so right there, it's telling me that all this crap is missing. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. And look, now we have internet and now we are checking for updates and now it will start to install drivers. And now we have bypassed that stupid little error or that stupid little hiccup. That's awesome, right? Aren't you glad that you're subscribed to my channel? Because I get to show you guys how to get around little annoyances like that. 
because you would be like, dude, how do I get this thing to get internet when it's telling me that the drivers aren't there? You gotta have internet to get drivers, right? Right. Or you can, some of the motherboards um, come with the drivers. You could try that. You could try putting it on with the disc and hoping it that way. But this is so much quicker. I mean, look, that took me like 30 seconds to get all that done. And good. We are, we're downloading, baby. We are downloading. Awesome. All right, I'm going to bed. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for watching. And uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and disassemble this for you guys and rebuild it back into the case that I want it and put it together for real this time. And then I'll show it to you. You guys will be like, oh yeah, we've already seen that computer. That's nothing new to us. Show us something else. Um, and I will, but at least I'm letting you guys know what's going on, right? Two computers. Awesome. You know, I'll actually get close to cleaning the place up. And whenever I do get it cleaned up, I always get a great idea to do something. This, it drives my wife nuts because she's like, you'll finish it. And then the moment you finish something, she's like, you start something else. And that is so true because like, I, I still have to disassemble this and put this one in the other case and basically rebuild the computer you already saw um, and then we have our camera gear which is really cool because like I found this my one of my old lenses this was one of my first original lenses it's pretty cool um, we have like we have microphones in here old this is I mean it's not old um, I bought this stuff maybe a year to two years ago but this was some of the original equipment that I used to start the channel back in the day and this yeah, this is the camera that we use when we live stream um, but we bought a new one and that will be here in the next day or so um, yeah so we got a cool project coming up. Um, the items have been ordered. They're on their way. And I think you guys are really going to like it. It has to do with a styrofoam cooler. It has to do with water, aluminum water blocks. It has to do with a thermal electric cooler. And it has to do with a computer. And hopefully we can get some really cold temperatures.